Hello, I am Jenny. I am a self-employed artist. I am 23 years old and I just came back from a trip to Japan and it's all inside here. I'm going to Japan. Wow. Haven't packed my luggage, haven't exchanged any Japanese yen. Literally have so many things to do because I was in quarantine last week. I need to go pack my luggage. So I borrowed this from my brother. Let's pack. It's still so unrealistic. Tokyo. Tokyo. So maybe I'll be like a story talk. I went to Japan for nine days. Before the trip, I was super anxious. And I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much. Being self-employed, it's really hard to take a break, a nine-day break. We literally work 24-7. It's super guilty to be resting for so long. And But my dad said, hey, don't worry, just go. And you can learn from other cultures. You can look around the environment, understand different styles of different countries, and even their stationery. Like, Japan has a lot of cute stuff. So at first, I was like, you don't understand. You don't know what I'm anxious about. And I, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm happy about going to this trip. After the trip, I was like, no, Jenny. You didn't understand what dad was talking about. I want to share with you guys what I learned during this trip. And this video would probably be like why traveling is important for a small business owner. Why you shouldn't be afraid to go to other countries. And things you could do when you are traveling. I have a small passport of stamps. I, I wanted to collect these stamps, so I brought this Muji passport notebook. I also brought my journal with me. I wrote down almost every schedule that happened in this trip to avoid myself from forgetting. Yeah, so it's currently like this. So, um, I'm not really good at pronouncing Japanese, but the first stop we went to Ochazuke, which is rice and um, some tempura on top or other choices, but I, I chose shrimp and crab and there was like a teapot with tea or soup and you get to pour it on top. It was so good! And after that, we took the Skyliner, which was recommended from my boyfriend because he said that Skyliner was really cool and we arrived at the Pori. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have the chance to get the stamp from Nippori because we were transferring from the Skyliner to JR and we didn't have a lot of time to find the stamps. The first stamp was Shinjuku. It's so cute! Like, ah! <laughs> we took a bus and we arrived at Fuji Yoshida. We stayed at a hostel called Saruya, which is really, really cool. They had these wooden architectures. We carried our luggage from this stairs, and this stairs is super small. <laughs> So the first night, my friend and I took the wrong train. It was like freaking cold, and but there were there was a lot of stars. So like, think positively, there was a lot of stars. But this is the first first ramen and the only one that we got. The other day we went to Kawaguchigo, which was the tourist place around Mount Fuji, and this was the ticket that we got. It was a two-day pass for the bus around Kawaguchigo 
and I was like so so dumb. I purchased this ticket and it was still for two days, but I forgot. And that night I was like, "Oh yay! Uh, I could now put this in my journal." And I didn't bring it the other day, so I had to use Suica for the other day. And uh, ugh, spending money, spending excess money that I don't need to spend. <laughs> this was the stamp from Fuji Station. It was really, it was really old and. But it's okay because I used to be a perfectionist and I used to hate these really old stamps because they just make the whole thing look really ugly. After I grown up, I would think of it as the other way. I would be like, this is what it is and this is the part of the trip. And also there would be moments when I don't have a perfect stamp. Like I messed up, but it's okay. It's, it's the part of the trip, so it's okay. And I hope this could help you if you have a little perfectionist and you want to collect items and you feel sad because things are not perfect, it's okay. So we went to this place. It's called Saiko Iyashi no Satonema. This is the ticket. It's 500 yen. And this is the stamp. Saiko Iyashi no Sato Nimba. So, this place, correct me if I'm wrong, but I kind of read the story. It was about this was a little town, and there was once a typhoon, town got destroyed by the typhoon but they kind of rebuilt it into a small tourist place and they showed people about what their little town makes like it was so special like people were making food clay and clothes and it's just like a really really miniature city and it was so interesting my friend and i thought we wouldn't even stay there for 20 minutes but we actually stayed there for four hours the dango there was like so And we also had soba, which was our first soba of the trip. The, the people there was like super friendly and super nice and super enthusiastic. We even bought Fuji apple over there. Arigato. Oh. Arigato. The owner was like, where are you guys from? And we were like, Taiwan. And he grabbed a Taiwan flag out of nowhere. And it was so cool. I was thinking about like, how many flags do they really have? It's a bad time. I tried to call back at your mom on the line. Is it just me? I hate how this feels to have to be fake. And the third day, we woke up early in the morning. It was like five, and I woke up and I was like, hey, let's go, let's go watch the sunrise. What's the sun that it's so? It was minus eight degrees Celsius that morning, and we like it was freaking cold. My tripod was like freezing because it's metallic, and we went to see the sunrise, and we even bumped into a guy that's also Taiwanese, and he took some pictures for us. The sunrise was like super amazing. Like over there, there was literally no clouds in the morning. The clouds would kind of like come back at, in the afternoon. So if you guys are going to Mount Fuji, I recommend you just wake up really early and you get to see a really pretty view of Mount Fuji. We actually went back to Shimo Yoshida in the morning and we went to... <laughs> oh, 
Bạn đi <cười> Đuấn điều, đuấn điều And then we went to Mount Fuji Panoramic Ropeway This is the ticket to it It's a really tourist place so The prettiest of Mount Fuji probably isn't over here because the time we went there, it's already full of clouds. Yeah, yeah, do not eat that. Oh, we were searching for the Kawakuchiko station stamp for a long time, like for two days. The station, the stamp of the station is not outside. You could politely ask them and they would give you this one. Stamp for Kawakuchiko station. It's super new, like look at the, the details. The, the English over here is like super clear. It's so pretty. Like we want, we wanted to take these Japanese photos, photo shoots, in every station, but we ended up only one. So this is our photo. Like they have a really exaggerated edits, and it's just style. Like it's become a really cool style. Look at my eyes. My eyes are so big. I like. I don't. I don't even look like that. We used to have each other's playlists. No, no. We used to be each other's best friends. This is the stamp that we got from the tourist station And that night, we went to Akihabara The Akihabara station, like the area was so cool It's full of anime But we, we stayed there for three nights, we didn't even have a chance to go around We planned to go walk around the corner every night But every night we come back to Akihabara, it's already like 10 p.m. So shop were closed and it's kind of pity maybe next time but this was the stamp that we found at first i think this this version is a special version for yamanoto line because only their line has this big one they also have this one which is the one like shinjuku this one is inside the station if you are outside the station you would have to ask the staff to hand you this or let you in the station without spending extra money the fourth day we were going to asakusa we transferred the station from ueno station and we got this stamp so cute we got to try on kimonos and this was the coupon We have another friend that lives in Japan for three years, but he is in Taiwan recently and he helped us look up for the stamps. And this one was from the information center across from Sensoji Temple. We were in our kimonos when we stamped this one, so it's a special memory. And it was kind of pity because the railway station actually has a Asakusa line. When we asked the staff of the railway station, he was like, no. And I was like, so there is no stamp? And he was like, no. And he replied me with a so simplified answer. I really wanted to ask him why, but I don't want to be too like, yeah, you know, you get what I mean. Like, I don't want to keep on bothering him for that one question that he keeps on answering no about. Kind of pity though. The fifth day was a shopping day. We went to Shinjuku and Harajuku. <laughs> so this one was the stamp of Harajuku. We went to Sekaido and Loft. Sekaido is super large. There was like so many things. It was like six or seven floors. Because we don't have a lot of crafty items in Taiwan. There was like a whole rack of crayons and color pencils. And it was just like, wow, it's so cool. And I purchased two portfolios. I spent like 7,000 Japanese yen in Sekaido. Look at how happy I am. Loft was from Shibuya, so we went to three places. I've heard that the loft over there was one of the largest ones. We only spent one hour at basement floor and 
I didn't purchase a lot. I purchased only a few pens, stickers, eraser, Mount Fuji dialed eraser. I kind of expected for a lot of cute cute stickers. I didn't find any that I really like. I don't know if it's because we were in a hurry or something. But yeah. I still got a lot of like the pens were so nice and I am still really happy. I asked my friend to take a footage of me with the things I bought. The style over there was so cool. Like probably next time I would want to stay at Shibuya and I would like to I would like to shop around Harajuku because it's so cool. And this was the Yamanoto line of Harajuku. And the one for Shibuya. And JR Shibuya. There was like so many, so many Shiba Inus. And this one was also a Shibuya stamp. I don't know why it's a goat. Like there's, a, there must be a lot of stories behind these, but I haven't really went into them. Our last night in Akihabara. Akihabara. <laughs> We went to Takadano Baba. The reason why we went here. It's Astro Boy, and my friend didn't really know about it. But I was like, please, please, if we if we ever get to have the excess time, can you come here with me? And I want to take a video of it, please. And my friend was super nice. She said, okay. And so we went back to Takadano Baba. There were even like a full wall of Astro Boy and Black Jack. All of them, like I love all of them. <laughs> We also had lunch at the standing sushi bar. The owner of the shop was like super cute. He was really professional at food and also entertaining customers like us because we were, I was like filming. I was actually taking photos and I I'm not sure if they would like to be like taking a photo of their face, but he was like <laughs> and I was really shocked. There was a Harry Potter stairways over there and my friend and I, we have a hoodie that we bought together. I was Gryffindor and she was Ravenclaw. And we went to the Harry Potter stairs together. And then that night we checked into Bay Hotel. It was really cool. Like the hotel was so, it was like a home. They even have a kitchen. They even had the full set of kitchenware. And the bed was so large. It was like, everything of it was so good. I wrote a lot of reviews for our stay this time because every stay was so nice and the next day we went to Disney Sea and there was like a lot of Baymax product Baymax the background of Baymax is actually San Francisco and Tokyo so it's like San Fran Tokyo there were like so many people that love Baymax <laughs> and it was so cute today we went to Tsukiji Tsukiji was a place full of Good food. That night, I went to Tokyo Station. Tokyo Station was like so large. I didn't get paid to do it. Don't think that Tokyo Station. Oh, no. Come on, come on. Yeah, I don't hate it. Ah, cool. The city was so clean and it's something that we don't really see in Taiwan so it's so cool. And this is this is the stamp of Tokyo Station, the DJR version in our last dinner. I'm currently in I'm currently at Tokyo Station and look who we have here! Hello! It's Tofu Pals! <laughs> Hi everybody! I asked Jenny to draw me, Nathan, and the Tofu Pals. And uh, I asked her to choose a medium 
and she decided to do watercolor. And I'm very, very excited. So far, I've seen a sneak peek. Dude, this is so cute. Wait, this is really like my icon. The grassies. The yeah, sun. the yeah. whole color thing. This is so cute. Look at, look at him in the, he's like jumping up. <laughs> they are yeah. everywhere, like in the corner. Yay! <laughs> to hold my passport and little, little Rocky is here. <laughs> Yay! These are the new pins that Karen made. Okay, I think they really did a good job with like all the lines and everything. Like, they even managed to... Yeah. Thank you! <laughs> so cool! Yeah, so I'm from, I'm from the US, Jenny's from Taiwan, but we're in Japan. <laughs> Make sure to go check out Karen's Instagram. I'll be leaving her information in the description box and the comments. And yay! <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Isn't it so cool? Like I'm kind of, I kind of, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. I think I didn't do a good job because she actually asked if we want to stay at a coffee shop. We were kind of in a hurry. Like we, we only have around. 30 minutes and Zoe sat like in a corner of the station which I don't know I think I didn't like I probably should have planned this better if you're watching this Karen I'm sorry I made you sit around the corner of the station and maybe next time we could like yeah let's have a better meetup <laughs> that night we went to Narita and this was the stamp of it This was the little stamp Narita Airport. Hey, this one is probably my favorite. Look at this white line over here. We asked the staff for this stamp. I think it's because this stamp is really detailed and it's more pricey, so they don't they don't just put it everywhere for people to use it. We got the Pokemon airplane. Got your jet. Oh, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and we ended the nine day trip back in Taiwan. And this was the sticker that I got in Mount Fuji. I don't know when I'll be back in Japan, but I know that I'll definitely work harder every time I think of this trip. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. I was worried that I'll be spending too much time on filming or taking photos. I don't even took the time to like really settle down and enjoy the moment but I did I didn't even spend a lot of time on my phone I didn't even post I really enjoyed looking at the environment what other people do in Japan and I listened really carefully to the Japanese that they were talking about and now I could like I could understand when they say the next station is and what's coming up and which side of the door is opening. I also really like to look at their decorations and shops and also the streets, the sidewalks and how clean the sidewalk is. I'm always really amazed by how self-disciplined people were. Even the cars there, they were like, they stopped a few feet away from us to let us pass by before they go. I was really amazed. Lastly, I want to say that I do think that traveling is important for small business owners because we tend to stay at our own little place for too long and sometimes it's hard to remind ourselves that imagination is unlimited. You get to be inspired by so many things that you never even thought of. The things that I saw, things that I found amazing this trip was something that I never even thought that existed. You could see a lot from other videos but it's really different when you see it in person. I was collecting stamps and I could learn from the layout of the stamps, like how people do it and how 
they, sh they show the informations and how they keep all the things they want to show in a small place that's also one of the skills that I wanted to learn I don't know if I missed anything I probably would do a voiceover if I did or like a caption but this is my trip to Japan I hope you enjoyed my little story I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or you have any experience can you share it with me? I want to see like what what kind of things that I missed out or what kind of things that I forgot to say and I hope I could be helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching this video. It'll probably be a really long video and thank you. See you in the next video. They also have these paper in some of the stations but not every station has these. So I only have four, Shinjuku and Akihabara, Shibuya, and Tokyo. If you don't have a book like I do, maybe you could go there and take these papers. Not all of the station has these, so I would still recommend you to prepare a book of it.